All right, guys, welcome to this Dune Tournament Showdown. This is my four-player pod here, and I am going to be playing Carino. So as we go through this game, I'll, of course, do my best to explain everything, but um, it is on. It's going to be fast. It's going to be furious. So we have Mighty Kenry on the Fremen. We have Dandy Dragon on the Atreides, and then we also have Knight of Squires here on the Ekaz. We're going to be taking our village here, and I'll uh, try and explain my strategies I go through. Of course, a new game here on the channel, so... So grab this village. Obviously, we want to get good traits. We didn't get anything super sweet on the first village, but we have to take it, obviously, because it is our spice. So let's get the spice going here. And first things first, sold materials, or solid materials. Yeah, so it gives us Plascrete, and then we'll go for Absolute Power and Megapolis here. All right, so let's pull back, and we need to get our Ornithopter scouting. So let's put them on Auto Recall here, get this one going. I like to open up with three, actually, and uh, see what we can do. All right, so village right here. Let's make sure we scout that out. We got a village right here, so let's scout this, and then that, and then that, and then that. Really, really important to get good village traits. Um, so here, what do we have? Manpower, and then Solari per statecraft building. Not bad, and this is also nice. Water Sellers Caravan can give us some authority down the road. Ooh, rare minerals. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. And I'll explain why it's so good for us. Oh, look at that. We get Plascrete up there, too. That's really good. So our counselors, our Wensica, she lets you build two of each building in a village instead of just the normal one. Uh, but if you don't build them in a, you know, a, a dual fashion, you don't build two of each, it increases the upkeep. So you have to basically just build uh, copies of every building in the village. But it's really good because you can get like two processing plants. She's hands down the best. And um, do we have anything to check? Let's grab those rare minerals right there, get that money going and cackle all the way to the bank. All right, so we'll take this guy. We'll do that real quick, although it is eight days. And our other counselor is really good, uh, Hasimir. He lets you investigate anywhere on the map. Normally, the stuff has to be near you to investigate it, but you can just grab anything from around the map with him, any of those like little investigation sites. Let's deploy this. Let's slap some uh, worker in there. And uh, cool. So where are we? It looks like we're on the north side of the map. We want to expand away from players. Carino is very defensive, typically. I mean, you can get aggressive, but, um, you know, it is what it is. An early blunder might cost me, he says. Wow, somebody, uh, you know, already battling it out. All right, all right. So from here, what are our special traits? Intel, when it has one building of each type and resource production, we're just going to make Plascrete here, which, of course, is very, very standard. All right, so scouting out the region, just taking inventory of everything. We could reveal the siege, but I want to save it. Although, at this point, probably just revealing the siege is going to be a little bit better. Um, yeah, because we're not, like, in dire straits here. So 55 to get that. Could go do a little bit of plundering, but I think we're okay. But yeah, like I said, normally you can only build like one processing plant, but my uh, my agent or my, uh, my my character lets me build two of them. But if I only build one and I make that mistake, it increases the upkeep of it. So you have to be on point. Ooh, another spice field very close to us. That's incredibly solid. Might actually save up and go for that. All right, let's get one militia. I like to like plant one militia in all of my starting villages here to make sure we're good. And we're getting absolute power. This lets me send a non-aggression pact for free if I don't already have one active. So what I like to do is get a non-aggression pact with the Fremen, if possible. Um, you know, and yeah, I don't know if they'll take it. I don't know why they would, but sometimes people do. Oh, nice. Four water for knowledge. So that's a nice knowledge site right there. Um, that is finishing. That is finishing. And we're at 48 at the moment. Our first agent is going to be popping up here. And uh, it seems like they're, they're all chatting. This is good. I got to remain focused. And uh, so double processing plant out of the gates is super nice. Water is getting slightly low. So we're going to get the Megapolis, which gives us two water um, for each village neighboring the main base. Plascrete, what is this? A con Solari. Oh, that's a good one. This is a good region. This is really nice. It gives us a income based on the Plascrete. And it's a Plascrete region. So that's just like big money, big business. Hell yeah, dude. Let's get a second one right there. And here we got that popping up. Um, should be able to clear this out, no problem. And do I want to build another Ornithopter? I think we're okay. So we want to start spamming these. These are the free techs, and our character lets us grab them from anywhere, which is good. I almost want to cancel this, but we're kind of close to it, so might as well just roll with it now. Uh, we can start spelling, selling a little bit more spice. No need to stockpile that, and that is good. This is a really, really nice base here. I'm very, very happy I got that. There's a little bit of RNG with Carino. Like, you gotta, yeah, so let's grab that. So now we're gonna get the free military tech. Let's take that. It's gonna give us a free Fremen mercenary, which is okay for fending off early raids and things like that. So, yes, all right, so we've got this. Plascrete's gonna be going hard in the paint for sure. And we've now finished that. So what we're gonna do is get filtration systems uh, that that to make sure we don't have water issues, right? All right, so this is a special region of some sort. You always want to kind of be looking at village traits with Carino because the ones next to your main base get their village traits doubled. So we're going to be making an unholy fortune from this one. Um, 
in due time. All right, so we got the three main bases here, advanced engineering. Do I just go for the, yeah, we need to get water or else we're not gonna be able to keep building, which would be very potato. Here, what do we get? Manpower, Solari per statecraft building. So this wouldn't be a bad place to just slap down some knowledge structures. And I could go do a little bit of like pillaging on bases. Wow, 100% of the water. Oh, but it's, like, it's one of the regions that has like poor water income. All right, so we could just go do a little bit of raiding here and try and make some money on the side. Um, let's send the Fremen an non-aggression pack, see if they want it. Fremen uh, tend to early aggress. Atreides, not so much. And we do have Atreides over here, so we need to... Um, I would like to get that with Fremen. If they don't take it, I'm going to send it to literally everyone. Because by having a non-aggression pact, it gives me Landsrad standing as we uh, progress. So I definitely want that. All right, so Plaskreet's going. Let's get you in there. Looking fine. Are the Fremen going to take it? Probably not. This is a nice region too. So yeah, I have this deep desert here, which is pretty good for turtling. I have two really well, easy to defend spots in the back. Yeah, that are these are the uh, basically the sacred sites of sorts. So that's really, really good for us. So far, so good. Um, all is calm and we have another one down here, the Moondew Valley. We'll not be able to get this. We're pillaging that. That's right. Looks calm here, looks calm. Saving up Plascrete for my first main base building. And uh, let's go ahead and grab this. So you can already see it's giving us a ton of income there, which is just great. All right, so pulling back. First lands rad. Um, the elected faction gets... Ooh, building cost reduction is sweet. We're going to go all in on that and try and get that. If we do, it makes... We, we're going to be able to pump out two main base buildings like super quick. Um, so that, that one is just so solid. Okay, okay. Our income is all right. Currently, we're okay. Um, advanced engineering is going and then we can get integrated costs or probably we'll go for the Yeah, the village trait buff because we have like a really nice village trait right there. So we're gonna pop that one off All right. So yeah, did the Fremen take it? I don't think they did So I could be <laughs> let's give it to dandy dragon. Yeah, let's give it to dandy dragon He might take it because he's a trade. the trade. don't want to get attacked You know, sometimes you can force people to take those when um, do I have any good water regions. Yeah a couple all right, so filtration systems is underway. We need to get another one of these because you'll notice the upkeep is super high unless you build a couple of them. So, all right, so that's finished. So free military tech, check it out. So boom, it already finished the survival training. It's so strong. And this is going to give us a free eco tech, which is great. So, and that's what my agent allows us to do. All right, so I don't have any more to do here. Let's go to the middle. Um, we're likely not going to expand this way quickly. We're going to be expanding back this way. So we can go raid some of these, these regions up here. All right, probe setup if I want to, looks fine. And did the Atreides take it? They did. Perfect. So now I'm going to get Landsrad. I get 15, Atreides get 5. So it's a it's a very favorable trade for us. All right. So let's go after that. Looking good. And that's good. That's good. Um, and this region, yeah, per economy building. So we want to get the water in that region because it's going to give us money. And the Plastic production is pretty sauced. We can also do the building that gives us... Okay. Let's wait to see if we win this before... Yeah, we put all 200 into that. So I should have been diving the range units here. Just got a little bit lazy, but um, yeah, main base construction is possible. I want to see if I win the Lance Chad because that's going to be just big money for sure. Oh, I really hope I win this one. I really, really hope I win it. It's going to be tricky. It's going to be very tricky, but that will give us a huge boom if we get it. I would be surprised if anybody was able to beat us. Although, I don't know. I guess we would all have the same amount, right? Okay, we need to... Okay, we got it. Yes, perfect. So now we can build these really cheap buildings. So... Uh, authority production is pretty nice for us, so we're going to slap that down, run back up here, and uh, we did lose our gunner because I wasn't paying attention, so we'll build another one, and cool. So economically, we're doing fine. No aggressors coming in. Oh, this is a, yeah, this is a processing plant site. That's really good. So the water is almost ready. From here, we'll get the administrative one. That'll give us a big supply boom here. Village traits over here aren't amazing, though, but they're trying their best. Yeah, feel like we're in good shape. Feel like we're very, very strong right now. It's a good start. Good start, clean positions. Um, we can take another site here in a moment. Um, probably, is there anything really good up here? Yeah, that's for recruitment offices and research hub production. Is That's really nice, actually. That's That would give us a big, big skyrocket in terms of tech. And now we have the water. So we have the wind traps. So this is our best region. It's four at the moment. So, you know, we'll take what we can get and just keep constantly looking for these free techs out around. All right, this one up here is 144. Um, what does the special region do? Fuel cell, and ah, that's pretty good, actually. So we want to buy shares immediately to put us up to 10%, because Carino starts with shares. So now we're up to 10%. So that is finished. Um, let's go ahead and grab this. It's going to be free military tech. So see, 
It just like almost finished modular parts already, which is great. Let's grab the spice fields. We don't need to grab the sacred sites early, the uh, the special regions, and make our you know our enemies panic and be like, oh god, turns like flying up on hegemony already. Like you kind of have to be a little bit sneaky hobbitses about that. Like and you like to kind of creep that in in the mid game, right? All right, let's shut down the range units properly this time. All right, looking good. Homie's taking a little bit of damage. Could be microing. It's easy to slip up on micro when you're like trying to explain what you're doing too. All right, so I don't have enough to do edicts. Diplomatic Congress would be really good. That would basically um, force a pact with everyone. So, all right. So the water is on the way. Um, yeah, not worth building any water in those regions. Oh, lost the guy. An absolute potato. Like I said, you know, commentary. All that gets a little bit tricky. Oh man, our water supply is really low. Jeez, <laughs> we only have four at the moment. I guess it's going to be remedied in a, in a second here. So, all right. So that's good. And um, when our village trade gets doubled, this village is just going to give us a ton of money. Uh, how are the exchange rates? We can sell hard right now. The exchange rates are really high, so we're, we have enough to pay the tax. So we're just going to do that. The worm, is it going to make it away? It did, just barely. Okay, that's good. And then um, we can start creeping on these special regions here. Really optimize the villages. Manpower has one building of each type and per state craft. Hmm. I have some ideas for that one. All right. So is the main base finished? We're going to immediately slap down another one, so we're going to do that. Um, could be prudent to actually... Yeah, that's in fully built villages, which isn't going to happen for a while. So let's go ahead and do the um, knowledge and hegemony gains. You know what? Yeah, let's let's go for that. The plastic production is really nice for like turbo building. All right, so let's go ahead and get integrated costs. That is going to uh, give us ten income for every like nearby base, basically, to our main base. And let's just throw a heavy militia in there. Get the harvester going again, and this is finished. All right, so we got the free military tech. So this is good. Preserve the runes. Yeah, hell yeah. Let's do that. See, that's why the Plascrete's good. And we can just grab these things. So I just got a ton of authority. Uh, I want to find the ones that give me tech, if possible. So let's see if we can like fly around here and discover it. I don't even know where the Fremen are right now. Wow, here's another one. Oh, I just got so much authority. That's so, that's so good for us. That's really, really good for us. Yeah, that's great. So we're going to be an eco powerhouse probably, I, I suspect, based on how this is going. Uh... Plascrete, what would be really good is to get the buildings that, yeah, but that would tank our authority. There's a building that has authority upkeep that gives you uh, increased resource gain. All right, so how are we looking here? Yeah, we have a lot of unexplored map. Let's make another um, flyer to go look for goodies out there if we can. Uh, can we take this region? We probably can. 160 is pretty pricey. Um, this one has recruitment office as well as research hubs, which is nice. I need to get the maintenance centers, which I believe, yeah, would be here. So we're going to get integrated costs and then maintenance centers from that. Honor, yeah, probably not playing politics as much as I should and labor rights. Oh, okay, that's what's kind of hurting our eco a little bit. So this one's 181. Um, very pricey. Fremen descent, if that passes. Um, and this one is the elected faction gains. So ECAS is immune to that. Smugglers will grant... For cast uh, smugglers for House Atreides, sure. I mean, I already have an on aggression pack for them, so I'm just going to put my votes in there. And yeah, the AI smugglers sometimes like factions that are not there, like will have some say in things. It, it's kind of funny how that works, but um, all right, how are we doing here? Definitely need some more water. Throw down some water traps, and uh, what do we got on the map? Uh, reveal a siege is kind of a cool one. Um, until we find something better. Oh, here we go. This is what I want. The tech ones are like what this is like, just all the business. It's really good. All right. So we're making a ton of money. As far as buying shares go, we're, I would say, sitting well on the share department. Um, Yeah, this region would be nice if I can get to it. 157. Um, Dropping the main base down. I mean, this whole like corner is so nice. Ecaz is down in that area. So I suspect they'll want to do something there. All right, we get a flamethrower man, and we're going to make a ton of money from this. And Atreides will get peace with everyone, which is like, I don't care. I already have peace with them. I'm just kind of playing like, uh, you know, solo, <laughs> trying to get that that sweet, sweet um, hegemony win. Oh, no, my mouse is getting ahead. Yeah, Fremen ahead, and oh, this is perfect. See, they're spreading like issues about Fremen being ahead and hedge, which is good. Oh, no, my mouse is acting up. This is, not, this is like the worst time. Come on, we're in the tournament. We need the mouse to work. All right, so yeah, we'll have the... Cost reduction building soon. We'll slap one down right here, which should be a nice spot. Yes. yes. Worry about the Fremen, because that's that's how we, we do it with these guys. And um, from here, we can go ahead and get the uh, Emperor's Monument. Let's do that. 
That's a good one because we still have the cost reduction for a moment longer. He says, yeah, look, he's having to defend himself. Oh, no. See, I have to play into this. Oh, no. It's good because I know it's not an issue. I mean, it, it, it's, it's probably not too bad. We got a couple rebels here from the Fremen descent. Let's get water. Ironed out here, get the flamethrower man to come, and we should be able to take them down, resolve that. So we got the free tech. Uh, did it finish it? No, it didn't. It just almost finished the geothermal condensers for us. All right, so looking around, um, any techs we want to grab, that just gives us a free soldier, which is all right. And this one will give us some manpower, which I suppose is moderately useful. All right. We can get another soldier soon, could build a mercenary. The Emperor's Monument's coming up, so we were able to get several main base buildings there, which is just really, really good. Oh my god, Shai Halud's like, oh, you know, I feel like I feel like you, you should lose the game. All right, so this one gives us a bit, and it's very safe. The Atreides are one of the least aggressive, uh, I would say, factions here. Um, financially, we're doing well. We're going to pay our taxes, and then we can go back to stockpiling, so we'll start... Do that preemptively so I don't forget, because I'm I'm definitely going to forget. The tithe is paid to Shai Halud, it seems. Oh, it looks like Shai Halud got to eat someone. Um, I don't know why that guy still has the red exclamation mark. I guess the worm was kind of close over there. Uh, that's relatively strong, so we probably need another trooper. Uh, could grab a mercenary. The shares are kind of high right now, but nobody else is buying shares. So I'm kind of like, let's go for it, right? Yeah, new chum shares. All right, let's buy. We're up to 12%. That's great. I'm down here in the south side. Intel per production building. Um, this is like, yeah, I don't know how far south I want to go. Main base deployment, I believe, is at 10k hegemony. Yeah, let's see. Uh, 5k. Yeah, so we're pretty close. We just need to get one more base and then we can drop that down. So let's go over here and get a swordsman. And then we'll go grab that base and, you know, get the sneaky, sneaky plays going. This will give us access to the maintenance center, which is going to save us a ton of money. All right, so the exchange rates are actually decent now, but we need to start stockpiling again. And do we have enough manpower to put more workers on? We do not. This region looks good. This region looks pretty good also, saving up a lot of Plascrete. Uh, the elected faction gains. Let's do all factions gain. <laughs> so I basically can do the Emperor's Edict, which lets me change the purview of these different things. So let's get Spying Logistics. That's a really, really good one. It gives you agents at a faster rate. Uh, I don't think there's going to be any aggression on us early. So not too worried about that at the moment. The Emperor's Monument's going to be finishing. Although, let's actually skip this and get modular parts so we can build the um, finish out our district bonus there. All right, so knowledge gains and hegemony gains is good. We can start on that. Just keep pumping up our main base. We're going to get a second main base, which is where we're going to build all the military tech. So, All right, all right. Agent recruitment speed and cool. All right, so let's head over here. I believe this is the Acid Lakes one. Yeah, it like, kills your units. So it's a little bit, a little bit unfortunate. Um, one sire car at max level looks cool. And let's head over this way. Being very cautious with my resources, I want to be able to drop my main base as soon as I hit 5k. Now, main base planning is very important. I could drop it as a barrier to the ECAS. I'm thinking more so of dropping it like right here, so I can grab all these. All right, let's do that. Water's looking good. Um, anything I want to do here? Not really. All right. Just focus and get the melee guy to go dive back there and shut them down. If possible, the flamethrower guy is tanking it like a champ. All right. Should be all right. Let's uh, finish off this guy here. Got to watch out for the Lakes of Doom. Let's buy some more chome shares. Wow, Ecaz just bought a whole bunch of chome shares. They went pretty hard on that. There must have been some sort of a weird event or a trigger or something. All right, let's uh, run the flamethrower man out of here. We don't need him here anymore. These other guys should be able to finish it, and we would like to save him if possible. Okay, so this region is good. That's where we can get our, our special buildings. Yeah, research hubs plus the uh, recruitment. It's going to be a very, very nice touch. We could also drop it here. I'm more concerned about ECAS pressure, for sure. All right, spying logistics. Let's grab that. And then we're going to need to get the eyes of the emperor soon to make sure we're not being spied on. Nothing crazy here. I like to delay building manpower for as long as I possibly can. Because uh, obviously the upkeep on those buildings is pretty serious. Wow, did ECAS just go bananas? Yeah, they just bought up to 8%. They're trying to go influence. All right, so let's grab you. Let's do this. And up here, we can go ahead and get the research hub. And now we need to get the building that, yeah, this will be a really good spot for this. So we're going to drop you and we're going to get that. That will reduce the upkeep of the buildings in all these regions. The only one that will be missing it. No, it actually will hit all of them. Every single region is being hit by that. Wow, that's clutch. That's very clutch. All right, so research is going down there. The boys are all in good shape. Um, yeah, all factions gain. I'm honestly probably just going to 
try and vote this on myself to make it so um, you know people can't attack me as easily. Ecaz is creeping up, and we can drop the main base. Oof. Yeah, that's pretty good. It gives coverage to the um, to the base below. If I could get a little bit closer, that'd be nice. But I think that's going to be it. So that will secure us like a couple nodes here, which is really good. And then we can start building in this this spot too. So manpower production. That's kind of why I was saving Plascrete, but I guess I maybe overdid it a little bit. So we need to get manpower buildings. We could definitely start drawing some iron now. Um, Fremen have jumped to an early lead. Let's go do some raiding in the middle. Uh, yep, so this is almost there. Uh, we just need to save up some money here at this point, which shouldn't be too much of a problem for us. 153 in that region. Oh, that's so good. And we can build some upkeep, like income buildings for that later too, which will be very nice. All right, let's go raid this and let's go ahead and get the eyes of the emperor now. That's going to make it uh, give us the free, um, that's going to give us the free uh, counterintelligence guys, which are great. I think I'm going to grab this, just take the money right now. Okay, let's tag these guys, although maybe we should just finish this fight first to make sure we don't lose too much. Um, nobody's been elected to any sort of an office yet. I'm saving my influence here. I'm not going to use it on this particular cycle. I'm just going to use the free influence they give you, which is good, being scouted by the, the Fremen. And uh, let's go to the, yeah, let's go to the Landsrad, just bank influence so we can shut people down who are trying to win on politics. Another free tech is finished. Um, let's cancel this, get the free tech. Get the harvester back online, and now we need to get the manpower buildings. Otherwise, we're putting ourselves in massive danger of actually being karate chopped, like by early pressure, which thankfully nobody's doing to us, but it could very easily happen. All right, yeah, man, this, this region is just sauced. Because we have two bases next to this one, so it's just giving us a ton of money. All right, heading back up. Feeling good. Military units, I think uh, we're going to, yeah, definitely, that's, that's next on our purview. 100%. As far as influence goes, this special region's 134. This one's 98, which is a little bit better. We finished diplomatic spying. And um, we can put agents on the Atreides to get influence and intel, but I'm going to keep them on lands Chad for now. All right. So this is finished. Let's go ahead and get some manpower buildings because that's what this region does. Um, and then here we would take this base and just make it like a choke point, which is we really only need to like two spice fields with Karina. Like, I feel like you don't need too much more than that. We can make mercs. This is here. We're going to save that for our development character. And let's start like fully building out villages now. So this will be good. And we can just slap the base here with the space and guild branch. So Carino has a unique thing where when you get above 10k hegemony, you get access to the um, free, you get free spaceship parts. So you can get like pretty much guaranteed to get your like big ships pretty easily. Let's see if there's any on the map I can take from other players. Yeah, let's take that one rather than take those. So the manpower building is done and now we can build the harvester crew. That will give us 10% Solari uh, being doubled by the Emperor's Monument. So we're going to get a 20% boost, which is really strong. A little bit of spice there. Seems like we're okay on the spice game. And let's see how rich everyone is. Fremen sitting at 2.1, Atreides at 2.9, Ekaz sitting at 600. So. People are either doing very well or they're just spending their money as they come across it. So we'll once we get like around 11k, I like to let people get a little bit ahead of me on hegemony, and then I that's when I start going bananas on the um, on the what's it called on the hegemony. Yeah, and we'll build missile turrets. Oh, man, no missile turrets here is going to suck for sure. That's a pretty vulnerable site, but I guess if we have that like choke point later on, we should be okay. Water sellers union, who's eligible? We got three people there. Um, I don't think I'm gonna have enough, maybe I will. So the Emperor's Eyes is done. So now we can go down and do the, uh, yeah, let's let's do the Landsrad support. I don't know, is it even that good? I don't know. Um, and then we can do the Imperial Researchers, which will give us knowledge per completed district, which is gonna be a bunch right now. It's gonna be like five. And we need to get up there and support this. Those Raiders might be able to take down my lone defender here. All right, manpower building, let's drop that down. We got the troopers heading up there to help out. Uh, no gnarly pressure yet. That's going to be fully finished. We still have 1.8k Plascrete, so I guess it's time to just pull the trigger here and build some of this. So what I was saying is we could do that, but the authority upkeep is pretty nasty. Oh, plus one instance of village trade. Yeah, how did I not think of that? Ah, uh, you know, it's, it's tricky. Like I said, you know, remembering all these things. Uh, as far as what we want to build over here, we could do some manpower. We're going to need a couple manpower buildings, so it's it's time we sauce that up. So let's get you and you. 
Chum shares are available. ECAS is kind of chasing me a little bit in the Chum department. Like I like playing like defensive Chum uh, hegemony wins with with these guys. It's, it's hands down my favorite. But that plus one village trait, dude, we're gonna pop off. That's gonna be huge. Yeah, all right, let's get out of here. Let's run away from the dreaded acid lakes. Um, that is going. So that's gonna finish in a moment. Let's go ahead and keep working on this. Barracks are great. That gives us good military in case we get rushed. Ekaz trying to set stuff up, but um, for the most part, yeah, we are we're off to we're off to the races here. Let's assign you to the Atreides, who I believe we're in a truce with, which means we're gonna get extra um, influence. So I have the most influence, and Fremen might have more than me. It's hard to tell. Yeah, Fremen might have more than me. I'm still gonna try and vote myself in and see if that works. All right, so we got a free tech there. Let's keep looking. We can find a siege. I'm okay with that. Sieges are very powerful uh, in the right hands. And yeah, I don't know why I spent the plastic to finish that one. We're gonna try and finish off these buildings here. Get all these villages fine-tuned. All right, so let's cancel the siege search here. And uh, let's start on this one. Yeah, get the free tech. Uh, this is 154, so that's another special region, which gives us the fuel cell. And we wanna get the geothermal condensers soon. It's a pretty good one. Since we can build two of those and we can maybe grab that eventually, this special region, ooh, that special region is so good. Six wind plus, yeah, it's that's that's the sauce right there. All right, so Atreides not expanding that way. Hegemony, nobody's flying that far ahead. Atreides are at about 10K, which is fine. Uh, we're about to join them at the 10K mark. So let's go down there, take that bad boy down. Krino, yeah, I might be able to beat Fremen, although Ekaz is there. Uh, I'm gonna see, let's see if we could rally the troopers. Decline water. Let's see if we can get them. Cause like, Ekaz is gonna win that. I, I can't beat their votes if they go all in on it. Um, Harkonnen taint, that's pretty funny. Decline if you can't win water. Yeah, we gotta rally the troops, you know? Play the politics of the emperor. And down here, what do we have? What can we even build in this region that would be useful? I guess manpower buildings would be cute. All right, let's uh, get this going. Another manpower building here, and the village trait is going nuts. Oh my god. Decline if you can't win water. Yeah, okay. We'll see if that works. Um, this is our frontier base. Let's set up a missile turret there. Start like playing a little bit defensively minded. And that has finished. So the geothermal condensers have done it. Um, next up, is there anything we can go and start getting the valuable trinkets? just to be safe. Our knowledge is really good and this base is making us so much money. All right, so we've gotten the hegemony threshold, which means we're gonna start getting free spaceship parts. All right, see so that, that, and that. And then we wanna start building processing plants down here if possible and live in our best life. Okay, I feel like we're primed. We're in a really good position. Um, ECAS is kind of making its way up towards me. Uh, let's go ahead and get the thumper. Fremen are kind of far away. I need to make like, we have a lot of good choke points, a lot of desert. So that's 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 definitely a big win for us. So that village is gonna be making us just an unholy amount of money here soon. So just gonna gear out all my militia, keep the army going and um, yeah. And then we just grab these bases up, maybe move up and grab those fuel cells if we can. Come on, give it to me precious. Valuable trinkets and do we wanna go for the defensive tech? I'm avoiding military for as long as possible, but insider trading isn't bad. Chome manipulation is also good. If we're going to be playing the Chome game, which I think we will. Yeah, I'm going to buy up to 15%. Might as well spend my money on something, you know. And let's get another missile turret here. Perfect. Fend those gremlins back. And uh, what I should be doing, actually, which would be smart, is would be to be raiding these to make it harder. Did he get the water? Wow, they oh they they didn't vote him down. Yeah, okay. Atreides voted for himself. So we might have to attack Ekaz early. If they start getting elected to all these political offices, I won't be able to beat them. So um that that could be a big problem. Like hundred percent. Let's get you, drop the base here. Um what do we want to get? This building has no upkeep, so we'll just slap that down. And uh yeah, Ekaz is getting elected to offices. Next time, vote him down if he has more influence, Dandy. Because Dandy tried to vote for himself, which is the greed, it's the greed play. But when you can look and see if they have more influence than you, and then that kind of like helps decide that. I might have to pull the trigger on the hegemony quicker, which, you know, I, I wasn't planning on. 262 we're making from that base. 
uh, waste otherwise. And ECAS can gov easy. All right, so we've, we've given our, our sage wisdom here. Let's go grab this region. Keep developing. Um, we need to get another one of these here, if possible. Great. And the valuable tranquils will be coming up soon. I could start playing the... You see, but I, there's a lot of people close to me. I don't want to jump too far ahead. It's like... Yeah, it's scary. Uh, let's get on Space and Guild so we can get some good, uh, good actions and stuff like that. Okay, so we got you. We have that beautiful upkeep production building. Um, just hitting pretty much everything. Troopers should be able to clean this out, no problem. And we need to get one more building here. So yes, agent recruitment speed. Easy way to get myself killed. Yeah, well, you know, he's not... He doesn't have any sanctuaries, the ECAS player, which is good. Um, Judge of the Council is up. We actually have the most influence, so we could maybe win Judge of the Council. We have really good influence income at the moment, which is good. Um, going for Chome manipulation, it gives you military strength based on the Chome shares that you have. So it's, it's quite strong, actually. All right. So let's head back there. Keep you here. This region's coming in. So we're going to get two missile turrets here, and um, I need to be keeping those, those places punished. Up top, Atreides are creeping in. Yeah, I need to get that spot so I can force that hellish choke point. That's that's big. Do we go down for insider trading? Landsrag gives us influence per agent assigned. Stealth gear. We're not going to be trying to assassinate anyone. It's not really... I mean, Carino can, but I think, uh, you know... Yeah, I think we're fine at the moment. All right, anything we want to build here, we can get the... Uh, you know what? We can actually just get that building because we can afford it. We'll just get an embassy there at the single spot. And uh, let's go ahead and slap the base on some turrets to secure things first. But yeah, this is like a pretty scary triple hegemony defensive position I have. The only problem is this spot is very like... Yeah, I don't like that area over there. Atreides already have an airport, so clearly they're, they're thinking about it. My Imperial bases kind of work as airports, so... Well, they do work as airports, quite literally, but... I could go try and punish the Atreides, like with early aggression. Um, but I'm going to be getting, like, wormed, like, the whole package. So, currently we're at 12k hedge, which we have so many of these, like, legendary sites. It's a little bit scary. Oh, I can already see the writing on the wall that, like, I'm going to get swarmed. Uh, Landsrad standing, manpower and intel. Yes, please. All right. So, we're at 315. If we can get Eye of the Council here, that's going to be great. And we do have the most, by far. So, we're going to get Eye of the Council, which I believe gives you extra agents. Um, as far as this goes, we got that. So we can go ahead and just slap down. I don't know. What do we want to do here? Probably just a spice silo for now. Not bad. Uh, let's go pillage some of these. So let's go over here and do a little bit of raiding. Because those ones are uh, probably not my favorite to try and take. Our authority is really slow. Chum manipulation is coming in, so that's good. We have our Eyes of the Emperor now too. So we got three of those bad boys. It's good, and um, we can now make Sardaukar. And soon we're going to have Kronos, actually. Like, we could really, really bully the Atreides back, but he's already, like, kind of preparing for war here. He's building military bases and shit, so... Yeah, I, I feel like he's getting a little bit crazy. All right, let's buy some shares, get some stonks. And Landsrad... Um, oh, only Atreides are available for Eye of the Council, huh? What is the parameters for that? 40 command points are used. All right, so we need to decline that. Uh, You know what? Let's... Let's see if we can play some games here. So I have the highest uh, standing, right? No, no, Ekaz does. Shit, yeah. Fuck, man, Ekaz is... I might as well start going for it. I feel like I should. Because, um, the, like, the governor thing is, is closer than you would think. Guess we decline judge, too. Yeah, let's decline judge. And, uh, yep, decline it. Yes. See the Ekaz players playing team player here, but for their own benefit, of course. Let's go ahead and take this, get that free intel. And is there anything out on the map? I've been slacking a little bit on terms of map play. But we're going to start pumping the hegemony jams, hegemony cricket here. Because I'm going to have a Kronos, like, really quick. And I feel like um, the Fremen are still pretty far away. It would take a while for them to get up here. So I'm, I'm just going to I'm just gonna go for go for broke here. All right. The Chome branch, uh, the main base one, is going. This needs to be finished here. I don't know. This is usually about when I pull the trigger, but I'm already ahead, so it's making me nervous. <laughs> you know, usually that's not the case. All right. So hopefully the boys will win that fight up there. Let's go ahead and get a Sardaukar. The first of the bad boys is coming in. Um, let's see this and this. Yeah, get the militia all squared out in our villages. Case times get real crazy. Main base is sauce. So yeah, our influence is crazy, crazy good right now. Let's do this. 
Let's actually support this too. Um, we'll support that. Sure, sounds good. And yeah, I'm just gonna try and race them because Governor is is closer than you guys would think. It's it's on the way. Okay, so let's get the hegemony. And let's get the other one on the other side. Looks like the boys are going to win that fight, just barely. And it was declined by 600. Geez. See, that's what should happen. That's what should happen, indeed. Hopefully, they won't notice until it's too late, you know, on the hegemony thing. Oh, easier said than done, man. So stressful. All right, we'll grab this region next. Let's pillage that. And then we'll um, go back in. We got these lands, Chad Guard. Let's go pillage this base. It makes it harder for people to settle near us when, like, all these bases are just, you know, being obliterated and stuff. We salute our emperor. We salute our emperor. So metal, dude. And Sardaukar just, like, the coolest shit ever. All right. So we got the intel. Let's see what actions we can do. Uh, that gives us that. Carry all makes it so they can't use flying units. Let's buy some spice here. Sure, why not? Buy some chome shares. If we can get 30% chome shares, we're just going to be, like, a tyrant. Like, I think we could potentially 3v1. We'll have to see. Kronos is uh, very close to being built. We just need some fuel cells. That's right. Shit. All right. So how close are we to getting this? Okay. It's, it's, it's on the horizon. Yeah, the fact that we don't have uh, the fuel cells near us. Do we have any? That That's right. We do up here. Okay. So we'll pillage that again. He's, he's saying I'm at 20% shares. And... Um, Let's go ahead and get the fuel cells here, which is going to be good. Buy some. And we will get the hegemony buildings going. And you just go all out here. We're going we're going balls to the wall, baby. 237 for that region. And um, now we got the 18% on the chairs. We have the Sardaukar. Do some pillaging. And then we'll go pillage the middle. It looks like it recently has been. We'll go hit this special region. Looks like somebody already hit that one. Jeez, people are ruthless here. We serve our emperor. All right, 132 here. Let's go grab that village. It's really good. It actually has research station. So here, um, our manpower is actually probably okay. No, that's a special manpower region. That was stupid. Yeah, I'll cut the, the knowledge buildings there, I think. Although, no, those ones do give two. I think my first idea was right. All right, so let's do this and this. We need to get the missile turrets here to make it hard to crack. And I have the council is open. It's basically just Atreides. Yeah, it's just Atreides. All right, so crew training program, we don't really care about that. Let's go for border defenses. That's going to make our um, turrets and everything like very, very difficult to take down. So how's that looking? Looks good. Looks good. We have the double hegemony going. Um, we're going to get targeted very soon, which I completely deserve. For sure. I haven't really been paying attention to my uh, spice either. Should have been managing that better, but... It's all good. So we're going to skyrocket ahead of people on hegemony now. Uh, and it's going to be a big red flag. So let's buy that. Preserve the runes is nice. That agent is so good that I can just like take things on the field. How does his army look here? Uh, it's respectable. Nothing too scary though. Because we're going to have such a freakish air force that I think they're going to struggle. Oh, that's a military base. That is not the right building. So let's go ahead and grab you. We get this. And the idea is here that they'll react too late. Like they're gonna, the alliance is gonna is gonna you know not get its shit together quick enough to deal with me, which hopefully that will be the case. All right, throw you down. Let's get some militia. Um, chairs are a little bit expensive now. I'm just gonna buy some while I'm here. And uh, do we want to raid any of this? Yes, we do. We want to make sure nobody uh, grabs those. And what do we have here? Intel and Intel. Yeah, Ermani, we'll just take it. Yeah, why not? All right, so another missile turret over here. Outstanding. That 262 base is pretty obscene, like how, how much money that's giving me. Uh, and let's see if we can get non-aggression packs with the Fremen. Do we want that? Yeah, we want to, like, force non-aggression on them. Let's see if we want to see if they'll, like, take it. Maybe somebody will make the mistake of taking it. I don't know. So we got the missile turrets back here, and we have the craft workshops. Ecas are clearly com coming for a little bit of a party here. Um, so we got declined. It's pretty hilarious. And Ecas is going to take that. All right. So they're going to have a forward operating base with which to attack us now, which I don't like. But you know, you can't you can't win them all all the time. That's for sure. All right. So Chronos time. Uh, let's grab. What regions can we even grab? Yeah, I guess the fuel cells would be the the goodness over there. And what do we have in this region? Intel, when the village has something of each type. Do we have water here? We do have water. We can build a little bit of water. 
So Kronos is here. I have the Kronos in case I get attacked by multiple people. I have to hope they get greedy. I have the council. Do we have more than them? Ooh, Trades is close. Yeah, we're going to try that. Because I, I might be able to get some on the map somewhere. Do I have any events that give me? Lands are outstanding. Yes, perfect. All right. So now we can grab this. Nice, nice. We're going to get Eye of the Council here, which is going to be huge. We, uh, we need to start, like, saucing military out here. So border defense is going to be, like, you know, the last thing. And then we're just spamming military for, from there on out. And we will also, of course, get the Air Force. The Carino Air Force is just obscenely powerful. It's very good. All right. Hire them for a raid. Sure, why not? We got the money. Let's take the extra units. And we need to get the military tech. Yeah. So I'm going to actually slow down on border defenses. And we're going to get the um, recruitment and then mechanization to get the siege drones. If we could actually take on the ECAS army right now and like defeat them, that would be pretty big. That would be huge. So I think I might make a play for it. Um, we have the supply drops. Because if we if they all work together, then we're I'm in danger. But if I can like get them one at a time. The problem is ECAS is a really strong military. Although their army doesn't look that good. Like I have this huge flying like blimp ship of doom. Uh, all right, so let's get the upgrades for the boys. I like to get the close range ones. It makes them do more damage, but it reduces their range. It makes them into like a close range uh, like DPS unit that can't be pinned down, which is really nice. All right, any special region buildings I want to build? Not really. Um, we are running out of space. Let's buy some stonks and uh, let's pop that. Pop it like it's hot. I need to just get enough of a lead while they're still kind of focusing on each other here. What do you need, my what do you need, my emperor? Dude, so heavy metal. I love it. Okay, so they're coming in. Main base can build some stuff. Um, and it looks like the Fremen Descent. All right, that's pretty good. So let's go ahead and shuttle over here and take that down real quick. Oh, only those guys were in position. That's pretty funny. All right. So let's get over here. We have the Fremen Descent trolling us because something passed that uh, was, you know, not not to their liking. And we can just leave Kronos here to defend against ECAS, but we're definitely going to hit that ECAS base. Who took my non-aggression pact? Uh, just the Atreides. The Atreides have been my homies this, for a lot of this game. All right, 22% share. Um, we could get the spice building here. Listening. Don't know how much I care about that. And we're going to definitely start hitting the ECAS hard because the Atreides are just kind of being greedy in their own lands. Let's see if we can jack that military upgrade from them. So the rebels have been taken down. That, that's the Fremen descent. It's a, it's a really, really good one. All right, let's get heavy militia. Let's get heavy militia. Do I have any sieges discovered? Man, I've really been slacking on my siege game here. That could end up costing me bad. All right, so let's head over here. We got to start bullying him uh, while I have him isolated. Civilian defense force is there, and now the military tech is going to finish, and we're going to be we're going to be pretty jacked here. He's building like some basic stuff, but yeah, that's 450 to get that. Uh, do we have orbital strikes yet? We do not. All right, so come on, give it to me, and then I need to get the barracks or the command post. Yeah, that's really good. So that will give us a lot. Um, and here, you know, reveal a siege could do that. So we're going to go hit these bases pretty pretty good. All right, got to replace that bad boy. How are we doing on the selling? We'll start selling a little bit more. Chome shares are, we're kind of priced out of chome shares at the moment because we just went hard in the military. So we're going to we're gonna go down here. All right, so let's get the ships. The boys are coming. And uh, yeah, we're going to see if we can get a big, big push on these bad boys. All right, so Speaker of the Council is up. Architectural Surveys is also one that if you want to like take someone out, it can be very strong. Um, Any funny business over here? No, I think we're fine with the double missile turret. I don't think there's any issue. So we need to cripple ECAS now if we can. All right, so let's get another ship. Uh, artillery, and then we can go down here for the uh, upgrades there. So let's go ahead and pillage this. All right, take these buildings down. He's like, Karina already has Kronos. Yes, Kronos. Fear him. Actually, you know what? Probably better to just, like, liberate this and free free the space. So then we can take all of you guys, all but one, and head south and keep punishing. While one guy just, like, captures that and liberates it or whatever. Uh, do we have enough for the orbital strike? Yes, we do. It's really, really useful. 
All right, so here's the Ekaz army. Um, I don't know if we can take them actually. On the home field, do they have the main base near that? They don't. They don't have a military base here. They're trying to build a turret in time. Maybe I can with the air force. All right, so let's do the supply drop here. Here we go. He's running. All right, Kronos is here. Let's do the shield and see how this goes. Yeah. So if we could just snipe the range units, then we're okay. So we'll just get all these guys to snipe the range units. And uh, yeah, the ground forces are fighting well. They're trying. We don't have too many upgrades at the moment, but our air force is what's really oppressive. We need to just force them to spend money, right? Outstanding, so that's going okay. The main base is gonna be, uh, are we being attacked by anybody else? Doesn't look like it, okay, good. So the air force is going strong, and yeah, we're, we're, clear, we're clearing out a lot, for sure. And this army is just gonna get punished by our air force, I think. The Kronos is just so troll. I love it. All right, so keep popping him in the face. Good, good. If he's not paying attention here, we're going to drop a worm and see if he wants to get his army eaten. All right, outstanding. That's a really good value for us. We just punished his army so hard. And Kronos can just keep farming here. Oh, hell yeah. All right, so Ekaz is going to be set back for a while. The Missile Turret of Doom is still putting a little bit of pressure on us, but hopefully we could just kill all his units. Let's take down that range piece, because it can actually do a little bit of damage. Run back, and we did liberate the base, so we'll come back for round two in a minute. Okay, good, good. Oh, that's just so money. That Air Force is so good. It's so good. All right, let's get some conscripts. Landsrad, Speaker of the Council, decline. And we're just going to decline that. We just need to keep people from not getting good office positions while we just rush Hegemony. Hegemony Cricket here. We're pretty far ahead on Hegemony as well. All right, so yeah, we're going down the military tech tree, I think is prudent at this point. Um, this one is 450. Decline that. Atreides could be like a late game threat for sure. If they manage to like slip governor past us. But my influence is pretty good. <laughs> Dandy's like, I can't, I'm busy. I love it, that's pretty funny. Uh, you know what? Let's cancel this. Get the protocols to get a bigger ground-based army. Let's go to the armory. I want my basic troopers to be tankier. That's kind of the game plan. And the Sardaukar, um Yeah, we also need some incinerators. That's going to be pretty big. All right, so Ekaz definitely just got the business. We can't really expand. We could take that base up top. So let's go up here and take that if we can. And just make that a military buffer against the Atreides. All right, so we're, let's head up top. And now we need to get our spice harvesters being supervised by these drones, which I always forget to do. Like, always, always. And Sardaukar, and let's get some incinerators in there. We, we don't have enough training slots at the moment, which kind of sucks, but it is what it is. All right. Chone Branch, slap the base. Let's buy some shares, some stonks. We're at 23%. If we can get 30, it's going to give us a shit ton of power, which is going to be great. So that was good. It got rid of their foothold here. Um, the Renegade base is there. We got the missile turrets. We've investigated that. Ooh, Fremen are actually attacking Atreides. That's perfect. Oh, it doesn't get any better than that. That's like just prime time. That's prime time, guys. That's really big. Our obnoxious air force is here. Spice crew is reporting in. We're just going to take this. Um, do we want to gain? Yeah, we can gain some lands. Chad standing. Why not? Let's take some political influence here. It got declined by everybody. Oh, man. Like, the Emperor's schemes, I feel, are playing out so smoothly right now. Like, everything is just butter. It's just all going good. He's, um... I mean, yeah, 3K is... I could, I could politic here, but I think I just want to focus and keep trying to kill Ekaz if possible. Because he's he seems pretty privy to my schemes, you know? He seems pretty privy. So this will be a barrier, this one here between um, the frontier and, uh, you know, these lands here. All right, so let's deploy you. Let's get this guy going. Get you on Chome, why not? And uh, let's get some flamethrowers. Let's get an artillery drone in there because they're really, really good for sieging bases. And the siege reveal. Got to remember to do that. Man, the fact that the Fremen are attacking over there. He says, leave the spice field. I'll die. I'll die over it. You're right. Oh, yes. Yes, dude. Anarchy in the lobby. Don't focus on the real threat, which is the Emperor creeping up on Hedge. And we're going to be there pretty quick, too. All right, let's do that and just get missile turrets. And we go down to Ekaz land now and just try and give him the biz. 
because our our hegemony is going to be flying up like so quickly here. All right, let's buy some stonks. Um, we're doing good financially, I would say. That's going to be a nice little military surplus. They could turn on us now, which probably would be smart, but they still seem to have a bit of a hard-on for that, which is great. I'll, I'll take it. Um, let's go ahead and send Kronos down here. So Kronos is going to fly down here, and and then we're going to drop ship in our army, which is like the coolest thing ever. It's so thematic and fun. Let's get another hammer, and uh, our ground-based troops can... The Kronos is an airfield, so we can fly over there and cause some havoc for sure. Um, all right, so missile turrets coming up. I believe all our bases are like fully built out. So now we're just like in turtle mode. Yeah, Kronos is coming. Let's get our Air Force flying down there. Uh, what's up for office? The elected faction. Let's make it so every faction gets that. Actually, I don't know. Nah, I don't I don't know if I like that, actually. I don't want everybody to have upkeep production, right? Like, that's, that's a, a big buff for them. All right, so Kronos is, is coming. Let's get the armor buff. We're going to go there and deploy the dreaded airfield. It's it's literally the coolest super heavy ship in the game. It's so radical. I don't think he notices it either. Here we come, baby. The Emperor's Legion, the Sardaukar, coming to punish these guys. Hell yeah. I'm probably going to lose the whole army, but it's it's worth every, every style point that you get. All right, let's do that. Reveal a siege. Uh, build another missile turret here, and then build a military base. Ready to deliver the payload. And when that's done, Kronos can pop out and go back to its normal mode. So we could probably beat an ECAS army here, considering how bad of a beating we gave them earlier. Um, I would suspect. Let's liberate that, but just in case, we'll take all these down. Yeah, Ekaz is the one who's sounding the alarm bell, so we need to punish them. Like everybody else is just kind of like doing their own thing, but here we're, uh, you know, we're getting some solid work done. Yeah, the Ekaz army is very small. Okay, I think we could just cripple the Ekaz player here to the point where we win, unless somebody like creeps up on governorship or something. Yeah, so we're killing all the buildings. We will lose a little bit of landrad standing for killing uh, the masterpieces, but it's fine. I want to completely obliterate his his assets here. Uh, all right. Yep. Let's get that. So he's got two range units, which if he doesn't have a missile turret here, he's just going to lose them. Yeah, because the, the hammers will, will give him the dirty. So nice, so nice right there. Oh, so useful. Okay, so that's good. Let's go down here. Let's have the Sardaukar chill. Is there any pressure here? Nah, it looks like it's just, uh, it's just the, the usual trolling. We have a little bit of money, but let's just chase this Ekaz army back to the Shadow Realm. Yep, let's not be too greedy. Don't want to lose any of my beloved airships. Um, liberate this, and then we go for that money site there. Fremen uh, looks like there was a raid. No, those are just normal raiders. Okay. So this is going to set Ekaz back. I mean, they're going to be very weak. Like, very, very weak. Um, if we can get that Spice Field next, that'd be nice. All right, so Judge of the Council, do I have more than Atreides? I do. Yes. All right. So let's try and vote myself and see if they're not paying attention. Sometimes when people are busy fighting, they don't pay attention to like the uh, the various events and stuff. So we're going to try and take advantage of that. Killing Spice Harvesters is pretty brutal as well. Look, see, they, they have a blood feud going on, which is great. I'm like stoked. It just lets me run just completely unchained here. Okay, so we're killing a Spice Harvester, which is going to set back his eco. I'm going to try and get the Judge of the Council. And it looks like he did notice. Is it going to be too late? Yes, looks like it. Nice. I don't have many other places to go. It's perfect. This is this is the anarchy we're here for. Um, Siege, yeah, we're trading with that one, but it's not in our territory. And this one's not in our territory either. Okay. He says, too bad. Oh, the blood feuding is so good. It's just going to give me the win so easy, I think. I don't know. We'll see. Here we go. So let's do the supply drops here. Oh, I'm going to lose one of my ships. Curses. Oh, never mind. We dodged it. We dodged it well enough. All right. So that's a leave order, which we don't care about. Um, let's buy some more shares. Creep up to 30%. And uh, the Kronos is here. We're going to try and punish this. Missile turrets are going after the right stuff. 
Let's go ahead and liberate that, and we can destroy all the buildings here to cripple his economy. Keep these guys nearby, and we have the missile strike in case things get really crazy. All right. So all is going to according to plan um, so far. Let's get a military base up here. We want to get an airfield so I can fly if need, I need to respond to like an Atreides assault. Oh, here we go. Okay, they're attacking. And uh, let's do this and a missile turret. All right, so that's going to create some chaos, which is good for us. Because we can thrive in the chaos. Oh, yeah, baby, let's go. And the missile bombardment, too, is nuking their armies. Oh, and Shai Halud. I called in Shai Halud there in the fourth quarter. Oh, and he's getting raided, too, at the same time. This is brutal. Truly the Emperor's tactics. All right, so, yeah, Ekaz is probably just straight up dead. Although the raiding up here... Yeah, those are rebels, so we need to go fly up there and with our planes and deal with that. All right, so we're going to take this, and then we're going to leave. He says everything is on fire. That's so true, isn't it? All right, so I, I need to get more armory upgrades, too. But our planes will come and salvage our territories, which are basically on fire right now. Because the Fremen descent is, is causing quite a bit of havoc, actually. All right, boys, we need to get the decap on this. And then the ECAs are just basically sent back to the Shadow Realm. Rebels are getting popped. Um, let's send our injured one back here to heal it. How are we looking up here? Looking good. Oh, we never finished this. Damn, I knew something. I knew something funny was going on there. I knew there was some funny business. All right, so let's go up there, deal with these rebels and these rebels. And let's see if we won that office seat. We did not. It looks like he got declined, which is good play on my opponent's part. All right, Shai Haludin time. Need to have the worm on standby. Let's get you redeployed. Supported my own loss of rights. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Yeah. Don't stress it, dude. Don't stress it. All right. Dude, the evil emperor schemes are upon us. We have some guys in the base. The Fremen raid is pretty much concluded. Let's grab this for free. And um, Ekaz is definitely suffering. Oh, my God. All their bases. We could probably just leave at this point. I mean, I could go down here and do a little bit of raiding. Probably wouldn't be bad to go down and just, just use this army to punish. Whatever's left of this force can just, you know, go disrupt. All right. Let's call our planes back. Outstanding. So let's just keep laying, laying the unholy beat down on these guys. Uh, I of the council. All factions gain chome shares. Ooh, that's interesting. I like that. So that'll be really, really nice for us. He wants to trade. He's trying to get peace now. He's trying to get peace. Not today. The, the, the emperor offered you peace and you 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 scoffed at it. So now, now you have to fa face his wrath. All right, so let's just pillage this one. We're not going to have the time, and we'll just, like, destroy whatever we can. Let's pull our Air Force back. Um, not a question back. Get out of here with that. It actually could be a good idea now if I don't plan on, like, finishing him. All right, so we, like, ECAS is down to, like, three territories. They've got to be missing spice taxes and, and other things, too. All right, so for the Flamethrower boys, let's go ahead and get the Napalm. That does like damage over time, and then we can get the attack range, which I like. Um, Sardaukar, oftentimes it feels good to just make them as tanky as possible. All right, so what regions can we grab? Um, we have Spice. The Polar Sink is going to be too far away to grab. Pillage successful. And uh, yeah, I guess the Sardaukar, he can attempt to run back to the base here, which will be good. All right, so how are we looking here? This is going down. Nice water here. Might as well grab that. Hmm. We're at 23k. The next closest is 16, so we're really far ahead on hedge. And nobody's buying shares, so we're going to be able to just cackle and get all the shares, I think. Um, taking down this Renegade base would probably be a good play next. Yeah, let's get the drones. The Chad Sardaukar, he's like, he didn't hear no bell. He's like running through the desert in his heavy armor. All right, so what do we got here? This military base is kind of bothering me. Uh, what else can we build here? Is there water in this region? I suppose the military base is the best bet. I always do that. I'm like, eh. All right, let's go to the middle. The Sardaukar made it. Hell yeah. What a, what a champ. Ekaz is, um, we can take a non-aggression pact with Ekaz now. Yeah, I'll offer it to them. If they offer it again. Offer again if you want pink. Missed it. All right, so let's see if he'll give me the non-aggression pack, because that pretty much guarantees he won't be able to go for me, like, easily. He'll have to pay a lot of influence to break that. Parallel training is up. Let's go ahead and get the mechanical um, buff. 
I could really just torment Ekaz by sniping his, his harvester. Okay. So the Fremen are just in a blood feud of blood feuds down here. I love it. That's so funny. It's just like Age of Empires, man. All right, so the bombers are shooting away. The rest of the army is going to be arriving in a second, and nobody's taking any serious damage. Um, I have the council. Do we have the most influence? It would appear so. The Fremen, they might like vote us. Oh, hold on. Screw the eye of the council, dude. We have something even better here. So we have the... Um, we have Diplomatic Congress with ourselves. That's going to force everybody into a truce with us, which is just money. I think I have some of my UI sounds off. Let me see. Audio. UI. Sorry if that was annoying. Uh, can I click on that? There we go. Let's get some more Air Force. Get another Sardaukar. Sardaukar need to get some nice upgrades. So let's give them the tankiness. Um, let's give them the max health and the um, armor. Just make them tanks so they can get those executes off, which is the game plan. Lands rad. So this is going to force anybody into, um, everybody into a truce with me. Let me make sure I'm reading that right. Yeah. The council thing is nice, but yeah, ECAS wants to trade. They want a non-aggression pack. Sounds good. Oh, I shouldn't have given that to him. Duh, I was just about to get it with the council thing. Well, maybe I won't, but it's fine. Are the Atreides not aggressive with me right now? The Fremen are the only ones who aren't. Um, I don't want to make enemies because it seems like they're both blood feud players. So I'm, I'm kind of like, just let let the boy watch, you know, let him fight. Let's get some intel buildings here. Wouldn't be bad. Um, we have a lot of manpower. Our Plascrete is good. Our Plasteel, Plascrete, whatever it is. We almost have enough to grab the fuel cells here. Dude, the, the dreaded Air Force. We could just go around sniping spice fields right now so hard. Oh, that'd be so funny. 428, though, to expand that. Yeah. I think I could I, I think I could win the governor race now, like, if it came to it. So, how? yeah, that got declined perfect, and then I get a non-aggression with everybody. So now they have to spend 100 influence to get rid of it, which opens up my other options. Um, cool. My manpower is a little bit low due to some early aggression. Good, Anakin, yes. Um, we never got the Wonders of the Desert. Yeah, we should get that, but then get Wonders. That gives us Special Region production. Ah, shit. Yeah, that would have increased it. Resource production in Special Regions. Okay, that was a mistake. So let's actually just rush that. Because that would be giving us more hegemony. I knew there was something off. There's a lot to think about. There's a lot to think about in this game. For sure, it can be, uh, can you can miss things. Oh, uh, let's buy some stonks. Let's get up to 30%. Just cackle. Um... Ekaz is just trying to survive. It looks like they're like dying to the AI. I, man, if I hadn't made peace with them, I could just fly down here and nuke all of those with my Air Force. All right, um, let's keep buying. Let's get up to 30%. 30% will give us 15% military power, which is crazy good. And one more buy. We should be pretty close. Yeah, the next buy will get us there, and then we're at 30%. All right, let's get intel. Uh, we can go fine-tuning a little bit. Do we need knowledge? Yeah, knowledge is still pretty good. I should have built the research building. That gives me just a huge knowledge boom. Probably isn't too late, actually. We could just slap that down back here, right? The research station. No, nah, it requires 10 fuel cells, so... I suppose I don't have the tools for it anyways, because I am using all my fuel cells in my wondrous Air Force. Oh, my God, man. I, the first person to break a pact with me, I'm just going to fly over and troll so hard. Um, And let's do this. Perfect. So we're at 31%, so now we have 100% max influence. Um, how is our agent action? Yeah, we don't have like as many agents as I would like. So we can do some political spying. There's so many texts I want to get. The hammer's always on time. The hammer's always on time. The crew training program's gonna finish, and then we can spend that manpower to finish these guys. Shouldn't that have finished? Oh, we got really close to finishing. Dune governorship. Uh, I'm the only one who's available for governor. <laughs> Which I am most certainly not going to vote for. The elected faction gains lands red. Um, all factions suffer labor rights. And we're at 30% now. 31%. So our military could steamroll anyone's probably. At this point. Well, I guess I know how to... Yep. The hammer's, always on time. hammer's always on time. 428. Okay. Let's move down here. Take this out. We have our ships. So let's get them in control group 2. Do this and wherever the hell Kronos is. Man, Karino's Air Force is just pure nastiness too. Um, we can buy this. Perfect. 
Hire them to spread propaganda. Let's get some intel buildings. And we've cleaned this area out, so it's going to be a nice little uh, frontier base. The Fremen appear to be attacking, but the Fremen just have such a hard-on to kill the Atreides, so I'm like, I'm soaked on that. Like, when are they going to come after me, you know? It's got to be soon. It ain't going to be easy for them to break those packs, though. That's that's for damn sure. Somebody use the decoy thumper here, or it's actually just a regular thumper? Okay, regular thumper. Or just regular worm. Uh, all right, so governorship. Ironically, I'm the only one. Uh, we have pretty much all the actions we would want. The scavenger one isn't bad. And house, ooh, we get 10%. Uh, let's save that, save that one for a little bit later. All right, let's do this. Get turrets set up here. Obviously, aggression could come from that way. I'm at 25k hedge. That's gonna, it's gonna be really, really popping off here in a second. Um, Fremen are coming, but I don't know what they're doing. Are they? Did they break the pact with me? No, they're still in non-aggression, so they can't. Just random warrior going to die here. Uh, we see the altar flying across. Okay, so they're going for a snipe on my imperial base, which is pretty cool. Well played. So what we can do is we can drop the Kronos and we can uh, fly over there. So let's shuttle. I like that. That's that's a cheeky little play. Although they probably got the traitor buff on them. So yeah, that's what's so cool about Kronos. It's like such a great rapid response piece. Oh, the Fremen. You're going to pay the troll toll here, buddy. The wrath of the emperor is upon us. Yeah, all right, so that's pretty good trying to take my base out. I don't definitely don't like that. I think I'm going to leave my army there. So the Fremen have now sounded the alarm too. They they're letting they're letting the world know that it, it could uh, governorship. I um, don't even want to try for that. Rather, I'm going to make everybody suffer financially because I think I'm richer than most people, and um, that will hopefully help out. Okay, so now it's time to go punish the Fremen with a little bit of air trolling. So we're going to go to their spice fields. And try and make them miss their spice tax, basically. These guys are just going to hang out here. Um, we need the missile strike again. The orbital strike's really good. Let's go see if we can find any Fremen uh, areas that we can target. Where Where is your harvesting team? I know it's around here somewhere. There it is. All right. So we're going to kill the harvesters, which hopefully will set them back. Yeah, so I get 20% damage because the Fremen didn't have enough to pay. All right, so let's go after another spice field here. I think I can kill this thing, actually. Hmm, I don't know how much I like this engagement. I feel like I could get ambushed by range units, so we're just going to fly away. Let's fan out. So he can't get us all with one. Kronos is nearby, too. Um, any attacks? Not really. All is calm in the land. We're going to do the labor rights to make everyone suffer. And hopefully that, that will set them back what we just did there. Um, we're still at 31k. We need to buy again to make sure we keep our percentage above 30 for the military strength. Kronos is just going to wait here and I can airfield to any position that's in danger basically. He's talking about, you know, the... The threat is actually worse than that, too. It's like... So let's go down here and get his other spice fields. Um, no pressure at the moment. I can Shai Halud or Missile Bombard. I see the Atreides are gathering in their base. We're going to go down and, and go here. Ekaz, Ekaz got beaten up pretty bad early, so no surprises there. He kind of kicked my head in not too long ago. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, so that's not going to fly. He's got turrets on those ones. The hammer's always on time. Uh, all right, so now it's time to build a military factory if we have enough. It looks like we don't, man. Should be uneventful. Wonders of the Desert's going to give us a big boon. Um, let's get the fuel cells here. That will let us build some special buildings. Our income sucks now, though, because of labor rights, but hopefully everybody's does. Yeah, so he's at negative money because of labor rights. It just it just kicked his army in the face. And the Atreides are at 6,000, and Ekaz are at 600. So it's really just Atreides who can threaten us, um, which I'm feeling pretty confident about right now. Fremen could try another base snipe. I kind of want to... Yeah, we have a, a good defenses everywhere, basically. But Ekaz is going to have to break that pact with us. Um, we could break it with them ourselves. 
and do a um hmm. all right and attacks up here nope looks like the atreides seem to be gathering so we need to save the missile strike for that but now they're gonna have a forward operating base which is a little bit scary but i'm just gonna sit back and chill on my hegemony uh screw this front base let's pull chronos back yep uh let's get the missile bombardment going here hopefully that'll do some work let's fly you guys over there and uh, you guys can shuttle up and hopefully hopefully deal with them. Did the missile turret go off? It did. Okay, it's hitting the entire army here. He's destroying buildings, which is smart. And let's get the... Uh, do we have another one? We don't. Okay, any other pressure from the Fremen? Shit. Yeah, they're going for my main base, I think. Yeah, I think this Atreides army just gets smashed in the face. And then we just fly back at that point. Um, let's get fuel cells. Let's do that. The Atreides get wrecked. All right, so let's uh, just pull back and then shuttle. Shuttle, shuttle. Let's shuttle where they're going to go for my probably side base there. Ah, get out of combat. Come on now. So we got the planes heading that way. Kronos is going to stay over here. And you guys can just, uh, I don't know what. Oh, he killed my shuttle. Okay. Well played. Well played. He tried to stop me from flying there, but thankfully we reacted quick enough. All right, so uh, in this space, let's go ahead and cut a knowledge building and get the military uh, the military building. It's very good. Give me an additional 10% power. We're this is where it's going to get real heated. It's going to get real crunk here. The hammer's, always on time. the hammer's always on time. I feel like it's like an 80s song or something. Yeah, it's fun. All right, so down here it's going okay. Um, our air force is there. Do we have enough air force to just straight give the dirty to this this core? Atreides, how rich are they? Yeah, he's at 1.6, so he's not that rich. Um, let's take the Legionnaires. They're like free units you get. They're pretty nice. And um, we'll hold on to those other ones. Should be uneventful. New Landsraad Council. Okay, nothing too crazy. I think we go steamroll this army before it gets out of control. So let's fly Kronos over there. And then we'll just adjust. We'll Whichever direction we need to go, we'll go. Fremen are just suffering in the pits. They're at negative 400. They like that labor rights just basically buried them financially. Um, Siege over there. Ooh, the militia HP on that. Uh, if the game was going longer, that'd be really good. Uh, we could also annex like one territory and win, but we are getting passive 72 per day, which is really good. That's incredibly solid. All right, let's go to armory upgrades. What have I forgotten? Um, you guys, let's get you the uh, bonus damage and the artillery drone. Let's do power. Yeah, just base power is good. And uh, yeah, armor destruction. That ain't bad. On report. Have 10 gear at the same time. I'm not sure if any of us can stop him is what he says. Yes, evil. Well, it's because they were blood feuding, you know? If like, I was able to just cackle, they should have been coming after. Like, e when Ekaz got in trouble, he should have let the world know that things were not good. Okay. Let's bring the Wrath of the Emperor here. The Emperor's new groove. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh god. I might have just screwed up. I'm gonna land right in the mouth. Oh god! It's like the movie! Okay, let's go. Let's fight with what we got. That was the most haggard play I've ever done. <laughs> oh, I think we might still be able to get it here, though. We have the missile turret for anybody else who tries. Yeah, our army is still so much stronger that we just obliterate them. All right, well, that's one way to do it. You know, we, the flex. I had to feed Shy Halud. I had to pay a tribute. All right, so let's pull back. Let's go for the main base here. Let's do the rocket barrage. Let's do that. And uh, you guys come back this way. And uh, hopefully Shy Halud doesn't eat us. Oh, he's, he's eating well tonight. That's for damn sure. So we got the missile barrage as well as our air force, which is just plowing through his army. And um, we have an agent. Looks like they were spying on us, trying to assassinate me, probably. The blimp is here. We might be able to just straight up kill it. And our reinforcements did arrive. More guys are going to be made in the base. Let's do that. Kronos can pull over, and uh, we should be able to kill this, uh, this drone here, this flyer. Which is going to basically just incapacitate uh, incapacitate the Fremen. 
Well, the second military base is a contingency here. Um, judge of the council, do I have enough to beat these guys? I do not. Um, all right, the elected faction gains main bases get, ooh, spacing guild resources. Hell yeah, sign me up. Sign me up for that. My base needs it. Maybe so. Let's see. I'm kind of not doing well financially for some reason. Oh, it's because of the uh, the labor rights. I was like, why is that the case? Yeah, but it's it's the labor rights. All right, so when that wears off, betrayed labor rights hopefully wears off. And now we're back in the green. Oh, we've been missing our spice tax. Just all the chaos, man. It's like, it's easy to just lose track of all that, you know? Hmm. Uh, it might be time to sell some stonks, actually. So we don't go in the red financially. Yeah, we're probably going to have to do something like that. Your Majesty. Oh, the exchange rate is horrible. Controlled markets. Oh, okay. So there's a lot of a lot of stuff going on. Yeah. Oh, controlled markets got voted on me, too. Okay, so pretty much all the bad stuff's getting thrown my way. Which is fine. We can win even with it, I think. We're going to go pop the Fremen Spice again to try and tank their economy as well. And we can just sell, sell stocks as needed to, to stay afloat. Can we make more of these? Can we make more hammers? They're so good. Oh, they're so good, the, the ships. I guess we've been fighting on a lot of fronts too, right? It's like there's been a lot of craziness. So we see some wild warriors in the desert, so let's chase them down. Oh, they're going for my main base again. All right, here they go. Let's go there. The big tell. But we will be there to meet them this time. You can see because he's, he's using a hidden thumper here, which gives him a free worm charge. The hammer's always on time. All right, let's take this down. I, I think our army can win without that. I just don't know which base. It's got to be the injured base, right? Sure okay, taking down his spice crew again is very, very annoying stuff. Okay, the Fremen are still here. They haven't taken the ride on the Shai Halud Express yet. Okay, let's pull back to the base. Um, nothing going on up here. Man, that exchange rate is brutal. Oh, God. So, but we got a lot of turrets. We got our whole army chilling here at the base. Um, does he have any flyers around that are, like, scouting us? Yeah, let's go see if we can kill these uh, kill these damn scouts. Make sure they don't, you know, know what's going on here. Landride Council, Governorship. Uh, ECAS is actually eligible, which is pretty funny, but um, I think we're okay. Every faction gets upkeep reduction. would be nice. And are the Fremen charging? We see the Atreides preparing for one last assault. Definitely too late. We're just going to nail him with missile turrets and cackle all the way to the bank. Uh, GG. I think it's GG. We'll see. So we have a siege, which would have been nice to get like 10 hours ago. All good, though. And uh, yeah. We're just going to drop an orbital strike and troll them with the planes and keep the rest of the army at the base. Because, like, honestly, I feel like we could beat his whole army just by scooting and shooting like this and then using the, the bombardment. Look how annoying that is. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. That's so troll. We have enough for another one? Are we being attacked anywhere else? Doesn't look like it. Okay. So we just need to keep our micro here. Pull you guys back. The orbital strike still doing some nice damage. And I don't want to lose the main base. Like, that's what I'm worried about is the big Fremen death ball coming in. They're obviously communicating in the shadows. Um, we're going to have to sell some stocks to stay afloat. Are we looking? Yep, he's at the main base, but the Imperial Armory, Armory was waiting. They were waiting, baby. <laughs> and then we can jump up here and crush this before he takes it. All right, the Fremen army got disintegrated over there. <laughs> GG, yeah. Uh, I believe he did kill my airfield up here, so I'm not going to be able to fly in. I'm very close to getting it. Let's pull back, do a little scooting and shooting. A little, little StarCraft micro there. Let's see if we can take him down, get rid of the cap here. Because that would preserve that region for me, which would actually be very good. Alright, looking good. The stock market serving us well today. Um, maybe we do want to start running up there with our army. Is Kronos on its way? Kronos is just slowly waddling. Gotta love it. 
Harvester, spice rates are still god awful because of the controlled markets, so that's pretty troll. Let's keep poking if we can. And um, yeah, ideally we can get up there. The resolution passed, yeah, I did the, um, oh, governorship's on the table, okay. I mean, we'll decline that just out of principle. Okay, the hammer is fallen. Nice decoy thumper there, really, really good. We'll send Kronos up. Hopefully he arrives in time and we could just use him as the airfield. I like how Kronos is like, you know, being spoken of as a person. Uh, all right, so rockets, and we're gonna go ahead and drop the decoy thumper here to stop them from taking that. Kronos is, is trying to get there in time. I don't know if it's gonna fly. He's making the, he's making a run for it. He's just going, going the distance. Um, I don't think I'm gonna make that. So we should just shuttle over here and protect this base if we can. Kronos and the boys, just gonna hang out. I could annex another province, but um, we need to keep these guys to defend. All right, got it, baby. All right, so that's the first round of the tournament. Um, basically, it's a 16-man tournament, and the winner of each pod goes on to a grand final game, which we've made. So I was gonna have to do a bunch of like janky software to try and uh, try and um, record, you know, a bunch of perspectives. But at the end of the day, now we don't need to. So. GG, well played, man. That was that was a fun match, you know. I, I kind of Ecas was the like the one crying, you know. Hey, this guy's a problem. So I just had to bully Ecas because they were the most active in trying to shut me down. Um, and once we were able to get that early lead against Ecas, I think we uh, were able to run away with it because the other two were like blood feuding. The Fremen ran out of space to expand, so the Atreides were kind of blocking them. So I think there was some blood feud action down there. The Ecos were all over the place. We actually had probably the best Eco for a long time, but towards the late game, it started to crumble really bad. But, you know, such is the, such is the cost of war. GG, well played, guys. See you next time. Take care of yourselves. The Emperor protects, and that's going to be it for today.